Myth number one is that you can grow a bigger booty without a calorie increase. Myth number two is that you can lose weight in your belly and your arms but keep 100% of the booty. I'm going to talk about that in depth in just a minute. Myth number three is that you have to go to the gym from day one. Myth number four is that protein shakes are essential. Guys, I'm going to tell you the truth. I was completely satisfied with my body until I entered the Instagram streets and I saw the booties that were giving and I was like, girl. We're on. Some of you might be familiar with this picture of my booty transformation and those pants, they still don't fit. I couldn't be more pleased. So in the spirit of sharing the information, sharing the loves, I'm gonna be dispelling these myths that I just shared. Number one is these, this myth that it's possible to grow a bigger booty without eating more. I'm not saying go out and eat like 10 burgers. I'm saying increase your calories by 200 or 300 calories. The people that I've seen struggle with growing their booty and reaching their booty goals are the people that are afraid to eat a little bit more. It's just 200 or 300 calories extra. That's just a small piece of chicken, a small piece of meat. It's not a ton of food. The next myth is the myth that it's possible to somehow lose fat in the arms oh girl lose fat in the arms lose fat in the belly lose fat you know everywhere except the booty so y'all let me get this straight y'all want to be out here breaking necks you seriously want to be maybe not you your neighbor your sister your sister wants to really be 200 pounds drop down to 130 pounds and not lose any booty at all keep all uh, the junk in the trunk come on now <laughs> come on have mercy it doesn't work that way if a person is going from something like 200 pounds down to something like 140 pounds a little bit of the booty has got to go you know god is fair after all in this area i want to say god is it's kind of fair you, you gotta let go of a little bit it's not the whole thing that's gonna go away i'm encouraging you to make peace with the fact that maybe that booty is gonna be smaller but if you're doing the right programs, the shape is going to be spectacular. Like when you wear your jeans, it's going to be giving. It's going to be giving, don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me because, I mean, speaking of programs, my name is Cola, just like Coca-Cola. I am certified as a personal trainer and nutritionist. I'm a wife, I'm a mom. Visit my website, kubokofitness.com. Start your 10-day free trial and see if my workout programs are right for you. You are in luck because I actually do have a booty program and you can try it for free by starting your 10-day free trial on my website. If you're doing the right workouts, the shape is still going to be giving. It's still going to be, I'm coming in hot, 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 hot. <laughs> I get too hype about talking about booty. It's kind of a problem. Myth number three is that it is a must to go to the gym from day one. This couldn't be further from the truth. I'm not saying the gym is bad. I'm not saying don't go to the gym. What I am saying is it's not necessary from day one. If you're just getting started, if you haven't worked out in six years, six months, six weeks, if you haven't been moving the way you're supposed to, if your glutes are weak, I'm gonna have a video all about weak glutes. If you're having back pain, knee pain, you don't need to go to the gym from day one. When we tell ourselves that we can't work out unless we go to the gym, you know, I know, we know, James down the street knows that we're just playing. It's because we don't want to work out. Am I lying? Did I lie? There's no lie being told here. It's okay to start from being at home. And what a lot of people find is they're perfectly happy with the results they get at home and they never have to waste time going to the gym. I have so many booty workouts on my channel. I recommend you do this one. So many people love it. It's very effective. Do this workout, even if it's just once a week. If you heard all of that and you still want to go to the gym, it's not that the gym doesn't work, but I will warn you that any results you get by going to the gym, you have to maintain by going to the gym. You can't go to the gym to get results and then maintain it at home. In the personal training world, that is called reversibility. And any results that's gotten at home is easily maintained at home. Start at home. Home is where the heart is. That made no sense, but we're gonna leave it in there because it kind of it was kind of poetic. Despite all my warnings, if you still wanna jump straight into going to the gym, I will help you out still because I love you. You wanna make sure that you are doing barbell glute bridges. I recommend barbell glute bridges over hip thrusts, even though they do the same thing because the barbell glute bridge is harder to mess up. You can even do your barbell glute bridges in a Smith machine, which is kind of amazing. You need some confidence though to configure the thing because people are gonna be looking at you like, what is she doing? I recommend you do the good girl, bad girl machine. 
hip abductor machine. Find the glute kickback machine and do that. You can do cable kickbacks if you want to, but I find that the kickback machine is harder to mess up than the cable kickback. Also, you have fewer people looking at you all weird when you're doing the kickback machine versus when you're doing the cable machine. I noticed that the cable machines at the gym, there are usually a lot of guys there, the ones that are doing like their chest exercises and the ones doing their tricep extensions and they can be a little bit awkward protein shakes are essential is the fourth myth it's a pet peeve of mine I just want everyone to understand that protein shakes are not better than real food they are more convenient than real food more accessible than real food more precise in terms of knowing exactly hopefully depending on the quality of the protein shake you're drinking, how many grams of protein you're getting. But they're not more readily metabolized than real food. If it's possible to get your protein from real food, do that. Get your protein from beans, chicken breast, soybeans, tofu, whatever you like. Let that be the first priority. And then if you're still struggling to hit your macros, you can add protein as a supplement. You don't need protein shakes and you don't need protein supplements to get results. But you can have them because they're fun, they're convenient, and they taste nice. Pro tip, if you choose to drink a protein shake despite everything I've said, just check the sugar content because some of these companies, they don't fear God. They're not FDA regulated, anything can happen. Thank you for watching this video and go on on your way and be blessed with a nice booty. Break some necks. Break some necks, Cocoa Pops. Break some necks. <laughs>